It's been 11 years since the 2010 Olympics was here in Vancouver and Whistler. Joining me today is Chief Wayne Sparrow of the Musqueam Indian Band. Chief Sparrow, can you tell me about the latest MOU that was signed among the four host First Nations for the 2030 Olympics? Yeah, that, it was uh, it was led by the four host nations uh, of coming forward, uh, the city of uh, Vancouver and the uh, municipality of Whistler uh, had some preliminary discussions about um, hosting and it was the leadership again from the city of Vancouver and Whistler by mentioning that in the 2010 Olympics we were asked to come and be part of the bid and the bid process from the IOC. This time around we were inviting the mayors to come along with us which would be the first Indigenous led games and it was fully supported by both mayors to uh, go ahead and sign the MOU and uh, take the first step forward to have a first and indigenous led uh, winter games here in uh, Vancouver. That's exciting. Now what's the next step going forward now? The MOU has been signed, now what? Now we have to go and talk to, uh, we've talked to the Canadian Olympic Committee um, and they were at the press conference and now the next steps would be to explore and then also talk to the province and the federal government about uh, working together to go the next step in the in the bid process. So it's early in the stages. Okay, and here we are with the actual pavilion, the Indigenous pavilion that was in the 2010 Olympics behind us. It stands proudly here on the Musqueam lands. I mean, the performances, the culture, the teachings that were shared with everyone in, around the world was incredible. Um, what would you like to see happen? What would you like to see as a legacy from the next game if it does come back to Vancouver? build on that legacy that we did in 2010. Uh, like you mentioned, the, uh, the pavilion was here for the Indigenous uh, communities and to build on that and uh, include all of First Nations across the province and across the country to how we can build to make the games a lot uh, uh, more uh, presenting our culture and our teachings and a little bit of our history and using the world stage to do that would be something that we'd love to accomplish. That's amazing. I mean, I remember watching the opening ceremonies and the four host First Nations had representatives speaking in their language. I was so proud to witness that moment, to hear our Indigenous language being shared with the rest of the world. What would you like to see happen as something different in the next games if that does happen? To build, to build it and uh, make it a better games, like, uh, and have that opportunity to across the whole world to be the first Indigenous-led games and uh, us welcoming the world, the, the nations, not just uh, um, being part of it, but leading it and, and having the ones that own the land welcome to our province and to our country. That's incredible. And also the uh, sportsmen and also like the athletes, that, the Indigenous athletes that could possibly participate. Is that right? That would be perfect if we could have more build on to the successes we've had from Indigenous people to participate in the games. It would be wonderful. And to have our young kids look at those role models and have them build so that maybe in uh, 2034 or 2038 that we have more First Nations Indigenous because they're, they're great athletes and they just got to get the confidence and they could represent not just the Indigenous people, but Canada. That's exciting. Chief Wayne Sparrow, thank you so much and good luck with your bid. Thank you. Back to you in studio.